वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश टेन दिस प्रॉब्लम इज टेकन फ्रॉम चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स दैट इज बेंडिंग एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिक्स ऑफ मटीरियल बाय आर सी हिबलर स्टेटमेंट इज मेंबर ए बी सी एंड बी डी ऑफ काउंटर चेयर आर रिजिडली कनेक्टेड एट बी एंड द स्मूथ कॉलर डी इज अलाउड टू मूव फ्रीली इलॉन्ग द वर्टिकल स्लॉट ड्रॉ द शेयर एंड मूवमेंट डायग्राम फॉर मेंबर ए बी सी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज मेंबर ए बी सी एंड दिस इज मेंबर बी डी of the counter chair that is rigidly supported connected at point b clear and this collar d allows it to move vertically clear so you have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this member a b c so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you remove this pin support at point a so you will be having a reaction force horizontal reaction force which is represented as ax and there will be a reaction force in vertical direction which is represented as ay and if you remove this collar at d so that only allows vertical motion so there will be horizontal reaction force which is represented as nd clear so we'll find this ax ay and nd by using equation of equilibrium so what are these equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium i will write equation of equilibrium so first equation of this equilibrium which we will apply is sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so you can see one force which is p that is acting downward so i will write minus p which is 150 so minus 150 the other force which is a y which is acting upward so it will be positive their sum must be equal to 0 so it means that a y is equal to 150 pounds now we will apply another equation of equilibrium and that is sum of all moments about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a these two forces are not producing moment because it is passing through point a so first moment about point a is due to this 150 load and perpendicular distance is 3 feet and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 150 into perpendicular distance is 3 feet that is clockwise the second moment about point a is this nd into perpendicular distance is 1.5 feet and that is producing counter clockwise movement so it will be positive so i will write plus 1.5 times nd is equal to 0 so from here when you calculate it you will get this nd will be equal to 300 pounds and since there is no horizontal force so sum of all force along horizontal direction must be equal to 0 Uh, and force in, in towards right hand is taken as positive so ax is toward negative side and nd is toward positive side so ax minus ax plus nd is equal to 0 so it means that nd is equal to ax is equal to nd and that is equal to 300 pounds in order to keep it in equilibrium now we will take this member abc and we will draw the free body diagram so this is member abc clear you can see this is point a where you have a horizontal ax in this direction clear and ay is in vertical direction clear ay this is point c where you have a load of 150 pounds that is acting downward clear this is your point b at the mid clear let this is point b and you can see that if you want to move this load to point b clear if you want to transmit this load to this point so definitely this will be nd and since this is producing a moment in this direction clear so it will be nd into 1.5 and we will also add a moment over here so let this force is nd that is over here and you will be having a moment that will be counter clockwise and that will be equal to 
this moment will be equal to n d into perpendicular distance is 1.5 so 1.5 sin n d is 300 into 1.5 is equal to 450 the moment will be 450 pounds into feet now this is the beam and we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so for that i will draw two vertical lines from the end of this beam and first we will draw the shear force so let this is a horizontal line and this x represent the length here vertical we will take the shear force into which is in pounds clear now what we will do is that you can see you have a y at this point a so a y is 150 so let this is uh, this is 100 clear this is 200 and this is 300 kilo as uh, pound you can take it as per your own convenience this is 100 this is minus 200 this is minus 300 so first one is 150 so 150 will be at this point you can see 150 will be this point so starting from point a you can see only the vertical force or shear force is a y throughout the length so this will be constant and it will be a straight line clear this is 150 and at the end you can see there is minus 150 which will bring it to downward so this will be its shear force diagram this area under this line will be shear force diagram which is called sfd shear force diagram now we will draw the bending moment diagram so for bending moment i will write vert horizontal line x show the length and here y axis we have moment which will be in pound into feet clear and you can see that till the mid of this beam clear this area this is the area where you, you the area under this shear force diagram will give you the moment and this moment is equal to height since this is a rectangular so its area will be height which is 150 and length is 1.5 feet clear you can see over here so 1.5 into 150 will give you uh, 225 so what we will do is that again we will select the scale let each division is 200 100 sorry you can select it as per your convenience so 200 minus 100 and minus 200 so till point b if this is point b so if i draw if i project it like this so at point b we have 225 clear because this was the area this was the area which is 225 and since this uh, first we will plot this 225 so 200 is this so 225 might be at this point clear and you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree so bending moment will be one degree higher and slope is increasing because this shear force is a positive area so i will join it like this this is 225 pounds into feet now at point b you can see you have a moment which is 450 and this is counterclockwise so while drawing the bending moment diagram it should be taken as negative because it will cause it to decrease or towards the negative side so 225 minus 450 will be equal to minus 225 so it means that bending moment will change to minus 225 so minus 2 let this is minus 225 so this will change directly from plus 225 to minus 225 now we have remaining this portion this area and this area you can see this is again 225 so plus 220 minus 225 plus 225 will bring it to zero and this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this is positive area so the slope will be one degree higher and it will be increasing so it will be like this one so this is its bending moment 
diagram. And that was all about this problem 6-10. I hope you have enjoyed and you have learned how to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram. Kindly subscribe my channel if you are new to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.